There is much more that goes into a good design on Etsy than just designing. There's first doing research to find out if people are actually searching for this item. Then we want to find out how much competition there is. Then we want to see what that competition is actually doing in that niche. And then from there, we can decide how to go about designing. And if you haven't met me yet, my name is Christina. I am a full-time print on demand seller, teaching you guys what I know about print on demand and Etsy. So with that, Let's go design. So let's say I don't know exactly what niche I wanna design in yet, but I know I want to create a hoodie. Using E-Rank, which is a keyword research tool, I'm just gonna type in hoodie into their search bar. Then I'm going to scroll down and find some searches that people are using that don't have as much competition. So I'm just gonna scroll through these. And one thing we're gonna notice a lot, the ones that don't have much competition are copyrighted pretty often. Mac Miller, Taylor Swift, we don't wanna be selling those. We don't have the rights to do that. So I'm gonna to try to find one that isn't copyrighted material. Scrolling down. And the one that sticks out to me is Moth Hoodie. It has over a thousand searches, which is incredible. And look how little competition there is. This is one of the best stats I've seen. I do things with a lot less searches and even more competition. So this one is fantastic. So I'm gonna come over to Etsy and I'm just gonna search up that keyword, which is moth hoodie, since I know that's what people are currently searching in Etsy to find these. So we can see our competition here. You can even use a tool like Everbee to find out which ones are actually getting sales. So we can see these ones here, 25 sales in the last month with 50 sales. We have 306 sales with 20 monthly sales. These are looking pretty good. I'm also gonna take a look at these and they look kind of like magical moth looking products. And it seems like printing on the back of the hoodie is doing pretty good. So I'm just gonna take a note of that. So I kind of want to go a different direction with this moth hoodie. And one way that I'm going to come up with some creative ideas is I'm going to look on Creative Fabrica or on Canva to see what type of assets we can actually use for this design. So I'm going to look up, let's see, just moths. Maybe some vintage moths I think would look really good. Oh, like this one here, vintage moths, clip art. I'm going to download this. And you can see here that we are actually allowed to use this because right under here, I'm actually paying it for a subscription. If you don't have a Creative Fabrica subscription, you can buy these as one-offs. They're usually pretty cheap, but I use this quite a bit. So I actually just have a subscription. But you can see right here, commercial and full print on demand usage allowed. Perfect, that's what we're doing. We can use these files. Then I'm going to go into my designing platform. I love to use Canva and I'm going to create a design and I'm going to make it 5,000 by 5,000 pixels. For some inspiration for this shirt, I'm actually looking up a similar niche, which is actually butterflies, very similar. And I'm gonna look in sweatshirts since there's a lot more people actually designing in sweatshirts. And I'm gonna scroll down. I'm not gonna do one of these Nike ones that is copyrighted. But what I am liking is this little like collage looking of butterflies, but in our case, we're gonna do it with our moths. So with that inspiration, I have now dragged in all those files that we downloaded from Creative Fabrica, and I'm just gonna lay these out in a similar way. Once I've played around with that enough and laid it out in a way I would like, I'm gonna make sure I am saving this as a PNG file with transparent background. That way, this white in the back is not gonna print onto our shirts. Then once we actually save our file, we're gonna to want to place it on that hoodie because we know hoodies are what people are searching for. So I like to use Printify as my main supplier. So I'll open up Printify, navigate over to hoodies. I like to use the Gildan 18,000, eight, 18,500, big number. And I'm gonna click onto there and I'm going to pick a supplier to print this for us. I like to use SwiftPod. You can watch my video here on my rankings and which my favorite suppliers are and which I avoid like the plague. So give that a watch if you don't know which supplier you want to use yet. But I like to use SwiftPod. So I'm going to hit start designing. I know I want to put this, this design on the back side, So I'm just gonna flip the sweatshirt around 
And I'm going to go ahead and add in that new moth PNG we had just saved. Once it loads in, I'm just going to position this on the back side. I'm also gonna have to make a video on all of the Printify placements, but a quick tip, I like to just take a look at previews to just make sure this is looking like kind of how I imagined it to be laid out. So on the back here, I kind of like this. I might make it actually a little bit bigger. So I'm gonna go back to edit and just see how big I can bring this without crossing over the dotted lines. That's probably the max I can go. And then I'm gonna go ahead and head and save that and we're going to publish it to Etsy. And another quick little tip for me is we are not gonna want to use this photo to be selling on Etsy. It's not very good looking and none of these previews are very good looking either. And I actually don't even show the back of our design. So we're gonna have to create our own mock-ups and there are two ways to do that. One is using what is called placeit.net. They are a library of thousands of different mock-ups, including back of sweatshirts, fronts of sweatshirts, mugs, hoodies, dog collars, pretty much any print on demand products you could think of. There's a mock-up for it on Placeit. So I actually found this really nice one that I think looks very nice just because it's kind of a naturey feel and butterflies slash moths, I think kind of fit the vibe very well for this one. Or we have option number two, which is actually going into Etsy and purchasing mock-ups from other sellers who create photos like this. You can buy them, bring them into Canva and just drag on that PNG file we had just created and then just save this. And it actually looks like a beautiful version of our sweatshirt that looks pretty realistic and is going to sell our product a lot better than just our photo, which is just this one here. Thank you guys so much for listening. I really hope that seeing my process from a research all the way over to actually design and listing is helpful for you guys to see exactly what my thought process is going into creating a new design. I think one of the biggest takeaways is actually going into Etsy and making sure you're studying the niche that you actually want to sell in to understand first what your competitors are selling and how you can do it better than them or be different. If you go in and you see the top seller is selling this product and you copy what they're selling, that is not good. They already have the reviews and sales behind them. So you are not gonna ever rank higher than them. And two, they have got something to protect. They're just going to report you. So don't copy your competitors. Do something different to stick out to other people searching. Maybe they didn't like their design, but they love your design. That way you're not competing just on price because you're not gonna beat the people again who already have thousands of sales before you. I hope this was helpful. If you haven't yet, please drop a like and subscribe. That would help me so much. Thanks guys, until next time.